That's right, folks. We've got Blake Jackson that's going to join us, the new owner of Crappie Masters. How about that? That's some big news, right, for the crappie community. We've got a new owner of Crappie Masters, and he's fishing with me today, so get to introduce you. We're going to ask him a ton of questions and uh, introduce you to Blake Jackson. But before we do, we're going to get some stuff ready on the boat, so come on. So I want to give everybody an update on the Amped batteries. They're working awesome, okay? So I've got a 48 hour amp hour battery up there on the live scope i can work that sucker all day i figured out i can get two full days eight hour days and not have any issues whatsoever and then of course my new amped out or batteries here running the trolling motor for those that are thinking about going with the trolling motor amped batteries i am cruising around with no worries whatsoever check them out and then i but then, of course, I like to always brag about that NOCO Genius uh, charger. It's so small. I mean, you just you can't, you can't beat that whatsoever. So uh, the Amped Outdoor batteries, I totally recommend it. I understand that they're expensive. So it is only for the people that want to spend that kind of jack. I get it. Um, but I'll tell you what, I don't worry about my trolling motor. I don't worry about my live scope anymore. And that to me is just, gosh, it's just a freedom that I'm glad I get to experience now. Let's put a jig on. All right, so I've been fishing a lot with hair jigs, I'm not gonna lie. The hair jigs I've been building and they're available on my website um, have been awesome. I've been using the Braid and then of course the three pound fishing elite series from Ozark Rods. Those are gonna be back in stock the third week of, Oct of uh, April. So check them out when, uh, when they are and I'll let you know for sure. You'll see posts from me from Facebook and all that stuff. So let's get this guy tied up. And when Blake arrives, we'll uh, we'll get this show on the road. All right, there he is, Blake Jackson from uh, Crappie Masters. Here we go. Blake Jackson with Crappie Masters. Uh, nice to meet all you guys, and I uh, hope you guys are catching some fish like uh, me and Matt are about to. So yeah, this is gonna be an exciting interview. We get to talk to Blake Jackson about plans that they have for the Crappie Masters. I know a lot of people are interested in this type of content, especially those tournament anglers. So Crappie Masters, new owners, it's exciting, it's nervous, it's it's all these things. But I can tell you right now that Blake Jackson is a fantastic guy. I've known him for years. and In fact, I've known his family my entire life. So I'm excited about what's to come. We're casting with some hair jigs, folks. doing is casting up a weed edge we're in the pre-spawn we've got a, a cold spike right now so we're looking at a kind of cooler than normal weather actually a, a freezing effect this morning so you know probably the number one thing I'm gonna guess the number one thing people are really uh, asking themselves are, are there gonna be any changes made to the crappie masters what are, what's your plans uh, there's gonna be a few changes um, nothing major um, you know, nothing with the format, nothing with, with anything like that. Everything's gonna gonna stay the same. Our whole goal for the next couple of years is, is bringing a new energy to the sport of crappie fishing. And, and that's, our, uh, that's our whole goal. Um, but nothing with the formats. Um, I've had a few questions, points races, adult youth, um, angler team of the year with rookie team, HH Rods and Real rookie team of the year. Um, none of that, um, none of that will be changing. So. Everything for the most part is going to stay the same. Um, but like I said, just a new energy we're kind of bringing to the bringing to the tournament trail. Awesome. So you have a you have a bass background. I do. I do have a bass background. Um, Quite a good college uh, bass tournament angler, from what I understand. Yeah, um, I had a good good four years. I went to a school called McKendry University, and uh, we fished the college trail on the bass side of things. And I had a blast doing it and, and I love traveling around, traveling to different lakes, um, just seeing so many different bodies of water and it, it really sparked my interest into doing something with traveling um, in the fishing industry and um, me and Mike got together and um, we made some things happen and, and we're super excited. So, so with that years of, of traveling around, seeing how different platforms have been ran, I think uh, I can take the goods and bads what I've seen um, and along with the way technology and everything's changing to bring, uh, bring some good stuff to, to Crappie Masters. Okay. Oh. Another beautiful day. 
So when you talk about like bass tournaments, are there certain things that maybe you can, that you're gonna bring over to the crappie masters maybe? Um, slowly, um, nothing major. A lot of it's um, a lot of technology stuff. Um, biggest goal is to make it easier on the anglers. Um, so a lot of people are gonna wanna know the serious questions like, Blake is young, what's he going to bring to the game? And folks, we're about to answer that question as well. But let me tell you what I've taken away up to this point in this interview. One is he's passionate and he wants to bring new technology and he wants to make the anglers happy. He wants to, he's going to do whatever it takes to bring more anglers to the crappie masters and get more people involved with tournament fishing, which I think is awesome. Here he comes from the bottom, here he comes, see him? Get ready. <laughs> Egypt, Video game. Egypt is the Egypt's classic. It's because it's such a quick bite. <laughs> Video games. <laughs> so, how do you feel about live scope and crappie fishing? Uh, is, it, is it is it something that's here to stay? Is crappie masters going to do anything about it? No. Um, it's definitely gonna, it's definitely, you know, it's not gonna be banned or anything like that. Uh, right there. It's, you know, I think it's, I think it's really neat. I think in the next couple years, I mean, the amount of anglers that are getting just amazing on this, this technology that's out there is, is crazy. So I think you're gonna see some changes with how people utilize it. And I'm excited to, to see that, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely neat. I mean, you can, you can watch these fish. There he goes. Boom. <laughs> like, like I said, you can watch these fish. <laughs> I always say how live scope, you know, you can find them and you can have fun like this, but you can't make them bite. You really no. can't. So, I mean, these fish are somewhat active, but they're not crazy active. I mean, he's coming over to you. I see, I try to. Uh, I'll measure that one for you folks. But that's a nice little Egypt eater is what I'd call that. 11 inch fish, 11 inch fish. So Blake, talk about, uh, people You know, will probably ask about your age. Talk about how old are you? 22. 22, so that's that's very young. So talk about some of the advantages of being 22 and running such a big organization. Um, you know, I'm definitely excited. Um, I've got some great people still on our team that have been within Crappie Masters for, for, for a good while. And, and you know, we've got some great anglers that, that, that fish crappie masters and, and everything like that. But you know, with me being 22, um, the biggest thing I'm gonna look as look at it is, with it being a successful, is what I'm gonna be able to do is bring a new energy to the sport. Um, you know, the sport is, is definitely growing. So definitely there's a lot more young anglers getting into it and yep. that's gonna keep growing for, you know, I, I see that growing more and more every year. And, you know, I think me being, in the position I am, we can combine, you know, that that new energy um, with the with the correct way to run everything like that. So you know, energy um, to the trail, and you know, just new new exciting things that we're working on is kind of our kind of our goal. Cool. So one of the things I have noticed, and perhaps the people that are out there on the trails, there are a lot of new anglers out there. Uh, people you don't recognize their name so I'm believe I believe that live scope has brought those people to the to the tournaments for the most part yeah I think that they want to test their skills I think that's a great opportunity so I think the sport is growing and I think having a young owner is, is a good thing because yeah. it, the energy I mean things are changing things are evolving they're happening very quickly and uh, with your energy I think that that's gonna really help with yeah the trail. I think so I mean I think there's there's a lot of new anglers coming um, and and one thing too I want to point out is I think one of my goals is it's still all about the anglers um, 
and, and you know, all of our decisions we make um, as an organization, it's it's all going to be about what's going to benefit the anglers the most, and, and everything like that, and and uh, fixing issues that come up um, that anglers are having, and everything like that. So, but one big thing too that that I don't see that's that we've got a lot of stuff in the works for is the crappie industry is is a very large you know there's 14 million panfish anglers um out there you know not all of them crappie but 14 million panfish anglers right um from some surveys and stuff and that's a market that's untouched and that's it well we've got some exciting stuff you know if you if you don't want to hop in tournaments um crappie masters we're going to start bringing you some stuff um that you can benefit from being a part of crappie masters also and so one of the questions I also had was like, is Crappie Masters going to try new lakes? I mean, are we going to see Crappie Masters, the national qualifiers moving more south, something like Texas? So we're going to answer that question later in this interview as well. But it's just neat to see and hear some of the ideas that Blake has on the Crappie Masters and the future and making sure that it continues to grow. All right, so we're going to go try some casting. All right. We're going to try something different. We're going to hide from this wind. Mix it up. That's the beauty. So do you guys, do you have any plans to increase the entry or change the entry fees for crappie masters? No, we do not. Um, we do not next year. Um, you know, this year everything's the exact same. We've got our national championship at Darbone. Um, cool. And the rest of our national qualifiers, we've got Lake Washington, Truman Lake, um, Kentucky Lake, and a new event with this year in May, we've got our one-man national championship. So that's going to be exciting. But talking along the lines of next year, we do not, we're not going to be planning and uh, not going to be raising entry fees at all. They're still going to be 350 for national qualifiers and then 400 for a national championship where someone's walking away with 25,000 plus to first in that event. And, and, uh, but what we do have, we've got some new events we're working on. Um, so, so those, and those entry fees are, are still going to be around that ballpark of, um, of a $300 or so or less. Um, so we'll see what we can we can get finalized for next year and but but definitely on our national qualifiers that entry fee will not be getting raised for next year and, and the local trails are growing it yeah. seems like yep we're up to uh, i think roughly close to 20 um state trails across the uh across the country i mean we just added one a couple of weeks ago all the way out in nebraska um wow. so it's definitely it's they stretch from florida um, all the way up through nebraska just about everywhere and and uh, there's there's some louisiana and mississippi i know they've got two in each state and i think with the state trails we were talking earlier about getting new anglers into it um i've had plenty of people just local here that they can go out and catch fish they're getting good and they're like man i just don't think we're good enough to get in a crop i'm like hey hop in a state trail tournament you know their entry fees yeah. 100 bucks i said get out there i said this is roughly, you know, I can give an idea on these local lakes, what it's going to take to win. And, and I said, you go out and catch this. I said, you're going to walk away with a check that day. And, you know, sure enough, sure enough, they are. And, and that's, what's, that's what's nice about the uh, state trails. You know, it's kind of a stepping stone. Um, all right. If you want to use it as that way to, you know, ju not jump in at full fledge and spend all the money on travel, um, but hop in a local state trail series and, and uh, fish and still have, still have the opportunity to qualify so those are those are definitely on the on the growth and so i really enjoy listening to blake talk about some of the, the plans they do have for crappie masters so the new events so the single pole at wachita river later this year is exciting a single pole um, championship i think that's really cool some of the plans that they have for just regular pan fishermen and the children uh, events that they have planned so these are new innovative things that they're bringing to the crappie world which i think is really exciting for uh, the crappie community <laughs> oh, you know, I haven't even actually like wanted to go bass fishing. Really? No, I've wanted honestly. I've wanted to have a boat more than anything to go come do this. Oh, that's cool. Like I like well, maybe your passion. No, changed. I mean I. At least you're grow. It's growing. Oh yeah. No, I went when we went went out at Grenada. I was like, geez, I yeah. figure I can figure this out. You know? <laughs> like, like I ain't no I ain't no dummy. <laughs> so Blake was telling me that. Uh, They've got a new stage for uh, the uh, the weigh-ins, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, no, we do. Um, it's actually going to be at Lake Washington um, coming up here in the, at the end of next week and April 9th and 10th, and it's going to be it's going to be a nice stage. Um, and you know, 
these anglers deserve it. You guys, you guys spend the money. Um, your sponsors um, that get you guys there um, and, and everything like that. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty nice. Um, walk off the stage right on to our uh, brand new release boat we've got. That's gonna be at all of our um, future events with us um, and everything like that. So we're definitely excited about that. Cool. That's awesome. So Blake, you know, you had talked about like wanting to expand and get to different lakes and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Talk um, about your plans for that. I'm sure people are interested in where they're going to be fishing in a couple of years down the line. Yeah, road. absolutely. You know, uh, getting all that arranged and everything uh, takes some time, but but our whole goal is definitely to expand, um, expand from from where we have been. Definitely keep going to the same lakes, but uh, there's some new opportunity. There's some there's some real good lakes that. Uh, that I would like to be at uh, for 2022, 2023. Um, so stay on the lookout. Um, we should have our schedule done for 2022 at the national championship this year, this fall. So, so take a look at that and we will definitely um, um, be coming to your area um, within the next few years. So, so stay tuned. So one of the, gr one great lake Blake, just so you know that I went to was Lake of the Pines in yep. Texas. So tell me, can you just at least like Give me a look at whether or not we might make it down to Texas. Just Texas. Are we thinking about yeah, Texas? Yeah. Um, there's some giant crappie in Texas, and uh, crappie masters got the best, some of the best anglers. So you put two and two together, we could end up in Texas very soon. Ooh, I like that. That could be good. All right, cool. Feel like I got the inside scoop. Egypt eater. Good deal there. A little bit. Yeah. A lot of fun though. So then I guess another question I would have, Blake, is what about advertisements or, or new sponsors that are for Crappie Masters? If people are interested in getting involved with Crappie Masters, who would they get a hold of? Yeah, definitely get a hold of with me or any of our staff. Um, Definitely all of our staff is staying in place, um, but give me a call anytime. My number um, that's on the website for all the anglers, um, companies, sponsors, anyone in the industry that needs that needs to, to reach Crop Masters or me, it's that's my cell phone. So it, it's on there at any time for anybody to get a hold of me and uh, we can push you in the right direction and get things done. What is, what is the phone number? That's 618-201-5280. Cool. So I really enjoyed my time with Blake Jackson. I think the future is extremely bright for the Crappie Masters. And what I like about it is I think they're kind of open to new ideas. And so the future is bright. Crappie Masters is going to continue to grow, especially on the local level. And I think it even sounds like we're going to get more national events and some interesting events, which I think is really cool. So to have a young owner of the Crappie Masters, a fantastic organization, the future is completely bright. Thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.